All right, I thought we would look at the uh, uh, using a spectrum analyzer if you don't have a tracking generator. Uh, I showed you a, a sweep of a filter, a uh, uh, 400 to 500 uh, megahertz uh, low pass filter, and um, we used a tracking generator to do that. So if you have a if you have a tracking generator, great. Um, if you don't, uh, this is what you have to do. <laughs> um, I, I bought this off of eBay. Uh, I've never owned one of these before. Um, it seems to work okay. Um, this is a noise source, and uh, the way these work um, is there's a, uh, uh, you can kind of see the topology here. There's uh, 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 three uh, transistors here, and they all feed into one another, so they're amplifiers. So they're taking a very small signal and amplifying it once, amplifying it twice, amplifying it three times, and then sending it out uh, onto the SMA connector. And um, there's some other circuitry here. This is just a little uh, voltage regulator, um, a step-up voltage regulator. It has a little inductor here. Uh, so that's all this is doing. This is a little power supply section here. And I think all the magic happens here at D4. Um, this is a diode. And I believe this diode is the uh, uh, creation of the noise source. So uh, there's some um, fluctuation on that uh, on that diode that creates noise, broadband noise, and then it's just amplified. Um, so let's go ahead and put this on the spectrum analyzer and we'll see what the uh, what the noise looks like out of this thing. Um, and I have a little adapter here uh, to change the uh, uh, SMA into a BNC so I can hook it up to the uh, hook up spectrum analyzer. So uh, these were pretty cheap. I don't remember exactly what I paid for this, but it was under ten dollars. Um, and it's just uh, 12 volts in and noise out. Uh, so let's go take a look. Okay, I've uh, just hooked some uh, clip leads up to, uh, to, to a connector here that's 12 volts. And uh, it has an LED that lights up. Uh, so uh, there's a BNC here. And the BNC runs over to the uh, spectrum analyzer. So let me get squared up on that and we'll take a look at... Uh, how it looks. Okay, uh, we have the spectrum analyzer for a center frequency of 500 megahertz and a span of 1 gigahertz. That's as much as this uh, spectrum analyzer will do. Um, so we're looking at the entire spectrum that this analyzer can see and there's nothing on the uh, BNC right now. So let me connect the uh, noise source and we'll see what we see. Um, I have averaging turned on so it's a little slow. So there we go. So we're getting a signal, and uh, it's uh, it's very broadband. Uh, it includes all frequencies from uh, zero to a gigahertz, and uh, it's fairly flat. Um, but um, for the purposes of uh, doing things on a, on a spectrum analyzer, if you if you don't have a fancy spectrum analyzer, you can always just um, uh, record this. Um, uh, shape um, and uh, then use it for a su subsequent measurement and then subtract this off, kind of remember it and subtract it off. But most spectrum analyzers allow you to normalize the curve. And this spectrum analyzer lets us do that. So we will go to uh, a different part of the menu and we will uh, uh, save, uh, save this as a normalization and then we can subtract the two so you can see that uh, we're getting zero dBm um, and, and, and it goes straight across, okay? So anything else that we put in the circuit will, will, will deviate from that straight line. So now all we have to do is put our um, filter, uh, if you remember that uh, filter that we had, uh, here it is. I know that the uh, Lighting isn't too good right now because I have it exposed for the uh, CRT. Um, but let's go ahead and put the um, put the circuit in line now uh, between the noise source and let's see here how can I do this? Okay, so we will put the one end of the filter there. We'll put one of the filter on the noise source and see what we get. 
Okay, we'll have to wait for the averaging again. Uh, you can already see that the uh, uh, filter is acting as a uh, as a as a uh, low pass and has a uh, uh, cut frequency a little bit above 500. 500 is in the center here, so we we measured that last time, so it's it's measuring the the same this time. Um, and I won't go into too much other details other than just to show you that, that, that this is available. So if you, if you don't have a tracking generator and you want to sweep filters, um, uh, get yourself a cheap little noise source and uh, you, can do, uh, you can do everything else that you need to do. Uh, the noise sources are, are noisy, <laughs> of course. Um, so adding uh, filtering is good. Uh, here uh, we have filtering set to... An average of three. Uh, if I set it to an average of let's say ten, this is a very wide sweep so averaging uh, ten sweeps is going to be quite slow. But if we do that it should quiet down quite a bit and we should be able to get a fairly good signal out of this. We probably need to do our reference at ten uh, uh, an average of ten also but you can see it's gotten I think a little bit quieter here. Um, if we take off averaging, uh, let's see here, no averaging, you can see that you see quite a bit of noise. So that's why you add the averaging um, to get rid of that. Um, but it does show you a different method. Like I said, if you don't have a, a tracking generator, uh, get yourself a noise source and uh, away you go. Um, I just wanted to be a little more complete here um, and show you uh, the setup. A little bit of that was off off camera. So we have the uh, noise source with 12 volts coming in. Uh, the signal comes out. The noise uh, comes out, uh, goes uh, into the uh, into the filter, and then the filter goes into the uh, into the spectrum analyzer. And I've just lost some connection here. <laughs> um, there we go. Um, well, my BNC was a little loose. And then uh, you get your signal. So that's all you need.